we're going to do here, we're going to do this for the ukulele players in the, uh, in the audience, in the listening room, wherever you're watching or listening to this. So we're starting up here as if we had capo five, but I'm not playing that, I'm playing this. So for you, you players, this is an F, right? And then I'm going to go to the four chord. And here I'm using on guitar, these would be your old triads, right? Um, there's still triads on U2. But some of the guitar players that have been watching this have seen these triads before, so. Five, one. So this 5-1 here, in this exercise, the 5 ones happening kind of fast. I'm just kind of stepping on it. And then back to the ones. One, two, four, five, one, two, three. Like your E form, sorry, your uh, C form. That's your E form there. And if you're working that out for the first time, you do that. And you go down. So, yeah, there's another way to do it. So, you go to one, to your four chord, to your five chord, to your four. You can hear that as the one chord because you started with it, but you don't. It doesn't have to be that way. You can fool people sometimes. To take your take your listener on a different type of journey. And then that's kind of pointing towards a different tonal center there, right? So now we've got an F. We've got a B flat. And that's an E flat. Yes, that does point towards a different tonal center. You're starting on not on the one anymore. Right? And what is the tonal center of that one? Well, what do you have? We have an F chord here. And you have a B flat. And you have an E flat. So that's like playing that B flat as a... You know, you get something like that going down here. First position too, right? later. 